All right, what's up, MIC members, non-members? Let's dive right into a new week of highlights, guys. We just wrapped up the week of trading, and uh, let's go through it, man. So we're on Monday, September 12th. We're going to go back. The I have so many examples, guys, every single week that are literally just endless good examples of where the lines hit and how we kind of do what we do as a community. But again, I only have a finite amount of time, so I want to highlight like the member success. I want to show what Alex traded. You know, we'll add up his PL for the week. It'll be a lot of fun. But today or on Monday, the thing that I really want to focus on is specifically RGLS because the lines work so good. So check this out, guys. Alex wanted in the morning specifically, he wanted 210, he wanted 220, and he wanted upwards of uh, 230, right? So, you know, this is a broken stock pre-market, guys. What you have right here is something with extreme overhead by the open. So Alex wanted exactly playing off this resistance line. So if we actually go to his chart, which I'll do right now, let's go to his chart and see how he traded. Unfortunately, on something like this, guys, he only got starters on because it only hit the first line. And this happens a lot, right? But dude, that's the thing about process. Even getting just your starters on, when they pay you, they pay you. It's just some days they're gonna pay you when a stock has a lot more volatility, a lot more range. You know, 210 and covers at like, you know, 193 is not a crazy amount of range, but it's still gonna pay you and it's still process. So sometimes you may not make a ton of money, but the process works and that's what it's all about. So $153, you know, kind of ZZZ day, uh, boring day, basically, that's what that means. Uh, so just had a small size scalp on RGLS, but that's what he did. But guys, check this out, man. Look at, look, and, and then this was obviously the chart like I pulled up earlier. He hit those lines exactly as what we said on the watch list. So if I go to the member reviews, guys, or the member success, like this is what the members post in our after hours. Members kill it daily. Look at this. P.O., Wanted closer high a day on RGLS. 210 was low for me. Done for the day. Bing, bang, boom. Right off the watch list. Did it. Um, Dan Husson, RGLS short. That's the thing, guys, is when you're part of a community and you get mentorship daily, all the members' charts start looking like Val and Alex's. Like, you have to start putting two and two together and be like, wow, this community might actually really do something. Uh, again, here's Wolf killing it from the watch list. Like, when the members' charts start looking like the mentors, you know something's right. RGLS split letter crushed it as well. Uh, Trent Long made about $1,600 and he was trading a couple other tickers, but still a member crushing it. Um, let's see, split letter again. Uh, he was playing PXMD. I love this guy's get shorty. Rob K was having just win after win after win. So like, I don't have time to read these in depth guys, but this is so cool to see that traders are just getting more consistent weekly. And every now and then there'll be a loss. But like, if you notice that there's nine wins for every one loss, that's a, that's a lot of improvement guys. A lot of these, a lot of these people weeks ago, months ago, years ago would have loss, 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 and then a win. But like, you know, the, the proof is in the results, right? Uh, soy sauce coming in with a thousand dollar day on Monday. Let's see Travers, you know, catching his catching his long bounces. So just because RGLS was on the watch list as a short in Alex's eyes doesn't mean that there wasn't a long opportunity in there. And that's what Travers was getting in here. So I think that that's so cool to see guys and see that the members who are waiting for their time to strike maybe in Zombia are going to get opportunity as well. So second uh, Tuesday on the 13th, second day of the week, the one that I want to highlight really quick is INM. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to INM and you can see the date right here, guys. So when I scroll back, you can scroll back kind of with me. Uh, we're going to the 13th, right? So this is the 12th. This is the 13th. You can see right there. So this is the day in question. Alex wanted, and I'm going to draw the lines for you. Alex wanted uh, 17 to 18 for a scale. So obviously, guys, every now and then, you know, we want the outermost lines. They don't come. You can still start in a little bit early. It's you can, as Bao says, trade anything you want. Just know the risk. And what happened on this was Alex again was like, shoot, I only got some starters on, you know, in the in the in the low 16s. So like 16, you know, 25. Followed it down for a little bit of money. Not a crazy amount. I think he made. Um, he actually didn't post PL, but I know it was only stars. I know it was anywhere from like five hundred to a thousand dollars that day. So not a lot. But if we go to the member reviews again, it's like guys, look at how much the members are just crushing it from the watch list daily. Like miss some key fills, only starter size, leave it alone. But that's it. It is what it is. Um, Wolf was kicking butt. P O again on ETNB, small size, enough room to add seven seven twenty five seven fifty. I'm done. Would have loved a better bounce, quicker bounce. Um, 
you know, ants kill that CMRA, guys. If you go through the watches, you'll see a lot of other examples. It's just I kind of want to make this a highlight reel so I have time each week to hit the most important points. But CMRA, long again, Ryan Conley hitting the long. So we don't just short at MIC, guys. We have many members. We have a couple moderators that also do the long side. So, you know, things like zombie hour, things like uh, after reversal hour, the last hour of the day, and especially when you have patterns like a teleport candle or like a high of daybreak and really key levels where the short edge is actually thrown out the window. So Mike Pro, uh, Mike Pro crushing it on KSPN on the short using those outer lines. This is what we teach. Um, you know, Chuck hitting those outer lines, CMRA. The reason why all of our members charts look the same is because process works. And this is what I want to showcase to you guys. Uh, Sugar Skull, here's the thing, guys, why I wanted to highlight this one. Yes, this is a small PL. Many members make 4,000 a day, 1,000 a day, 500, maybe, maybe 20,000. I sometimes, guys, it's just about supplementing your income and having the blueprints for the $2,000 days where you start. And you're happy to make $200 a day. So everybody's on their own grind and everybody's on their own chapter. So if you guys are at the stage where you're making $200 a day or $400 a day, keep going. One day it might be $2,000 and $4,000. Donnie, awesome CMRA. Again, members just crushing CMRA again. It's like Diego doing it. Uh, soy sauce making almost $700. Masticoli, $3,500 for the day. This is the power of the community, guys. Now, here's where we start kicking into gear. Alex was not Alex was not messing around on Wednesday. So we come in, and the stock on radar was really 80 TX. That was that was his main stock on radar. So you know, I actually gave somewhat of a webinar on this, and we were talking about this. Um, you know, th this week, which was which was a lot of fun. So uh, this was the 14th. We're gonna go right here. This was the day. As you can see, it's up on you know kind of like day one of this move. Kind of day two, it just gets absolutely slaughtered, and there was a lot to kind of almost quote unquote chase down, but chase in a safe way if you define your risk. So you know we get into this, and Alex and I'll bring up his commentary as well. You know, Alex made almost 6.6. .6, actually, he did 6.6k on Wednesday in 20 minutes of trading. Nice to have a stress-free day-to-day shorting ADTX once backside was in, which this clearly was. Patiently ignored it pre-market and shorted the bounce of the open for a nice win. Unfortunately, it tanked more without me, aka Deadwood, that poker term that I use a lot. But happy I ignored the hot stock, which was Biaf, today from the watch list. And if I go to Biaf that day, guys, you can see that it was totally, totally, totally a short trap until later on when like maybe like a death candle came and there was opportunity later. So, you know, Alex had a really nice scale on this. There was a lot of range, uh, followed it all the way down. And this is exactly what was basically on the watch list. And this is the opportunity there. Now, really quick, just to kind of coincide, if we do go to buy off, guys, this is what Alex was keeping you safe on. This is why in the watches, 100% ignore on the short side, we are also, if we're not trading a certain ticker on the short side, we're keeping you safe of why you should be stay staying safe, not only on the short side, but maybe even taking advantage of the long side. So that's kind of what we were you know, doing there. Um, so many members absolutely crush it on Wednesday. Like if I go through this really quick, guys, um, NJT on uh, NEO, you know, small size, but it still worked. Uh, Maiko got a starter on CMRA. Awesome. You know, Vin Debo stuck to the watch list, stress-free trade guys. Think about that. It's like, I just stuck to the watch list. I just used the watch list. I made money. Um, let's see, st <laughs> small starter, long based. Uh, you know, here's a, here's a long trade from Sam J. I love that. Uh, you know, Ant was hitting those outer lines again. This is what we teach. David is always hitting those outer lines. I love to see his progress. He's doing a really good job. Um, the Jester got a short in a buy-off and then did exactly what he should have. He cut off right before that launch. So you can make money, guys, and then set a stop at the break-even point for the rest so as not to ruin your day. This is actually something that we teach at MIC that the Jester did, which was which was just really cool to see. Um, you know, cause when the members are doing it correctly, guys, this is, th these are the results. Like you're staying safe and you're making money. Um, even a stop out, you still make money, but you got to do it right. If you're already cushioned and have made the money and now are risking usually break even or a very small loss, uh, to not eat into that cushion too much. Humbled. Great job. Uh, let's see Sunday trades. Great job there. Weaver crushed it. Let's see, Mark L coming in with a $270 day. You know, look at look at look at Drink Man. Guys, like the like Swiss K trader, the you know, the guy before, it's like win, 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 and then one L and then a ton of wins. Like, guys, this is 
This is the power of mentorship is consistency. Showing up every day and expecting the same thing. Gene Schmidt, no surprise here, our rock star. This guy's only been trading like literally three months. He's making like 5K a day. Freaking awesome to see. He's just still on his grind. Psychomed, unbelievable scales. Waited for outer lines and hit the out. At, you know, what, can, what more can I say? SPRC, great job. Uh, where are we? We are on Thursday. Alex crushed it on Thursday, guys. So I'm going to go to two trades. LSTA was one of those. Let me go to a 20-day chart. Oh, I'm on that. Okay. Yep. So we are on... What's It's the 15th, right? So yes, it was. So this was the 15th. This was this day. I think this was that IPO, right? If I remember correctly, like if we go to the daily chart. Yeah, this was the first day it traded. This was the second day. So if we go back to the basically a two-day chart is what you see is this was the 15th. So this was Thursday, yesterday. And Alex was looking at LSTA and NRBO. So LSTA, new runner, SSR, and reverse split. This is very, very risky to short. So, uh, you know, what happens in this, guys, I'll bring up the chart is Alex crushed it in the morning. Just absolutely crush it. And the thing is, when you have this kind of volatility from nine to seven, even small size is really gonna reward you. Uh, NRBO, exactly, exactly MIC process. Let's go back, NRBO. Uh, what are we on the 15th? That's this day right here. By the open, he's using these resistance points from pre-market. Guys, when a resistance point is already set up and it dead cap bounces up to this overhead where people want out, this is this is how you make money. It's simple process. Then again, you had another stock with a ton of range and volatility. So NRBO, you know, his plan was looking to see a morning push towards 30 to fail for a nail and bail short. If it continues higher, we will wait for a death candle, then attack. These are the process, guys. So it hit outer lines right in a 30 where Alex wanted, as per the watch list, every single day, a very strategic plan of what he wants. And, you know, I mean, the proof is in the results again. You know, almost $12,000, effing sick morning. Stock selection was on point today. Waited for LSTA to top out pre-market and shorted the bounce to nine at the open. Um, so that was LSTA. And then NRBO, which was my favorite one, which I have up right now, guys, shorted pre-market resistance and nailed it stress-free day-to-day based on that 30 level. And the best part was I ignored the hot stocks HKD and ATXG. Stock selection is everything in trading. It's all planned always every single morning in the watch list. So who doesn't want to make 12K, man? That's pretty sick. So if we go to the members, members crush it again. Sam J, a beat long, B E A T long, great job. P O, big green on NRBO, small red on beat, but here's the thing big green, small red. That is process. When you lose, better be small. When you win, ideally, it's big. Uh, Mr. Simple, always keeping it very simple on, on uh, B E A T. I love it. It's clean and simple, man. Bryant, NRBO, outer lines, love it. J T, crushing right here on NRBO as well. Again, guys members using the watch list amtd uh let's see the path makers nrbo straight from the watch list guys read the commentary straight from the watch list um mr simple again you know this is what the jester was doing on the last example i showed you made money guys and stopped out when it got break even this is how you protect your morning gains this is how you do it right there uh james crushed it on nrbo you know shorting in the 25s covering the 22s just a, just a sick day. And yes, he's a moderator. So, But I just wanted to highlight how everybody at MIC is doing the same process, guys, truly. Now, we come to Friday, and there's not much to talk about other than the watch list being on fire. But Alex actually didn't trade today. And Friday is usually our like least favorite day to trade. For some reason, me, you know, Alex and myself have always not loved Fridays. So, you know, today he didn't trade. But the watch list was still on point. And again, guys, the members absolutely crushed it like i'm gonna say that ten thousand times over because they always are all you gotta do all you gotta do every single day is go into the chat room and then go right here scroll through after hours and members are just let alone posting fun stuff but it's like guys members are just crushing it all you gotta go through here and just see the results see the success go to the chart recaps and fills channel and see how many people are absolutely getting processed so that's that's kind of the key there 
So Vindy Bo nailed it on AAOI, Outer Lines. This is MIC Process. Um, you know, Beat was along again for Reasonably Izzy. Great job. You know, PO doing what he does best, Outer Lines, man. We teach this every single day. Ryan Conley hitting along on AAOI. You know, Reasonably Izzy again, you know, hitting along on AAOI, guys. Like this, it's just, it's so clean. Uh, Wolf <laughs> doing exactly what we all expect from him, using the outer lines for a short AAOI. Great job. AAOI was in play both on the long side and the short side, guys. When you know your edge and you know which side of trend you're on, this is where it's so complementary in process for shorts and longs to coexist in MIC. Mark L coming in with 730 bucks. Michael Davis, solid 6.5% uh, you know, trading day. I love that. Very green. Good job. You know, soy sauce again, crushing it, $1,600. Mastacoli, $242, great job. This is the power of MIC process, guys. I cannot say it enough. This is the power of community. This is the power of members doing the exact thing that the mentorship provides every single day through the watch list. So when you come into MIC chat right here, the first thing that you're gonna look at is you're gonna go to the watch list, guys, every single day. Like this was today, right? You can see today. Alex was putting together the lines, you know, the, what he's looking for every single day, the levels, the lines, the areas of interest for short. If he doesn't want to short it, why it might be a good long or why it might make sense to stay away from the short, et cetera, et cetera. This is truly what it's all about. Now, really quick, if you're not a part of MIC or you've never been a part of MIC and you're interested, guys, go to myinvestingclub.com. And the first thing I want you to do is click this top right button right here, this orange button. Fill this out. What this is, is this is an order form where I'm going to get all your information. It's going to go directly to my Google Calendar. I'm one of the co-founders and creators of MIC myself. We, I am going to get on the phone with you. We're going to take a call together. I'm going to answer your questions. We can go into the chat. You know, we can, I'll give you a mentorship session, whatever you want. In fact, I'll do this. The first people to text me, the first five people to text me on my number, 213-458-5997, I'll give you a mini coaching session and I'll get you in at a great price and we will figure out what you're doing wrong in your trading if you're already a trader who needs guidance or guys, if you're new to the markets and you just want to learn good habits from the start, MIC, like look no further, this is the number one place to be. Uh, I think as tradition, the last thing we always do every single week, guys, is I'll pull up the uh, calculator real quick. What did Alex make today or this week actually? So I'm only spitballing on Tuesday. I think if I remember correctly, it was $1,000. So I'll be kind of conservative. I know he only got starters on INM. I think it was a thousand bucks, but we'll do plus 154 on Monday. We'll do, eh, we'll, we'll even go less conservative. We'll go 800 bucks just to, just to keep it as realistic as possible. Um, he made 6614, 6614 on Wednesday. $6,600, pretty good day. And then almost $12,000, guys, on Thursday. And he didn't trade today on Friday. So we'll add $11,900. Let's see what that is. Guys, it's $20,000 a week. We're not even counting rebates from success trader and the brokers that we use, in which case he'll literally get a check back to him at the end of the month for adding liquidity with the MIC limit route. So guys, again, text my line. This is the highlights for the week. Shout out all the members absolutely following the watch list, crushing it, and learning how to do this themselves. So text my line, guys. We'll see you next week for highlights.